lot of times during the day under this sun cover it's very nice and so we spend a lot of time out here in the cockpit staying cool it's cooler than in the boat and getting a few things done i most often in between everything else i do which is much i'm mending i'm mending lingerie i'm mending men's pants I don't know how many people even know how to mend anymore. I know how to mend socks. I told, I told Steve last few nights ago, I was young a long time ago. I was young a long time ago. I know about things and things we did that people have never heard of. I mean, you know what I mean? One of my favorite stories, never mind, it's a little bit of background on it. In our backyard, we had a humongous English walnut tree. It was planted the year, the summer, the spring, or what, that my father was born. Now that was 1908. <laughs> so at any rate, by the time I'm coming along, it's huge. It is taller than the garage. Now it's a one-story garage, but it's got an attic in the peaked roof, you know what I mean? We had chipmunks. Now, if you've ever watched chipmunks, they're the cutest little things in the whole wide world. They are more darling, more sweet and cute than a squirrel ever was. Now, there are different kinds of squirrels. I think red squirrels are much neater than gray squirrels. They're smaller, I think. Yeah. Anyway, our squirrels are were in the woods, okay? But near the house, by the walnut tree, you could almost always, if you just be quiet for a moment, it had a huge swing in there. It was a wonderful swing. But at any rate, if you'd be in the swing or something where you weren't messing around, where you were quiet and you could observe, you wouldn't have to wait very long before there would be one and then two chipmunks. Usually not more than two, but two chipmunks. Now, the thing that happens is the cat's watching too. We had more than one cat. But the barn cats hung around the barn. We had a house cat that could always be inside, our favorite one. But we had other, maybe two or three other house cats that were outside cats. Truly when a cat caught a chipmunk, you can well imagine. <laughs> if there wasn't both all two, if there wasn't two of the sisters out there already, there was real fast. Because we catch the cat, we force the cat's jaws open, and even if that little chipmunk had been punched by the, what do you call these incisors teeth? And there wouldn't be too much blood, he would run away. And, I mean, by that time, you're just glad that, that you saved a chipmunk. But of course they would hang around because it's a walnut tree. And, so, and they live nearby, wherever they live, I'm not sure. Because we had some pretty old landscaping in the back part of the yard and so these rhododendrons which had been brought onto the mainland from the peninsula in Washington State where they grow wild these get like eight feet high maybe higher now I was little at the time so if I'm five feet and I think they're uh, Tall. I mean, they got to be at least eight feet. Chipmunks can find many places to live. Besides that garage, besides holding a car, had a wood shed because many people burned wood. When I was growing up, I had to chop wood. I was the wood chopper. So it's like I fed the chickens. Joanne fed the calves. They had a lot of calves. I would help her feed the calves. When I finished, feeding the chickens and gathering the eggs, etc. But at any rate, we love to rescue chipmunks. Now, we also had a cherry tree quite a ways from the house in the garage up near what we call the calf barn. This was a wild seedling cherry. I mean, the cherry is barely bigger than the pit. There would be chipmunks hanging around that place also. And they never got as tame as the ones by the walnut tree. And the cats never seemed to go out there to bother them because that cherry tree was in the first field 
above the road where the milking barns, etc. Et There's one thing more. In Washington, as far as I know, near what we call the Big Rock, and I'll have to tell you about the Big Rock sometime, it must have been about the size of four Volkswagens, two and two, stacked too high, but it had edges and ridges where we could climb on top of the Big Rock. At one end of the Big Rock, there were two, what some people call filberts or hazelnut trees. There would be chipmunks there also. Still, that was in the open, not in the woods, under canopy of huge trees. And so the squirrels didn't even come there, but there were lots of chipmunks that hung. And that was, that was up half wild, halfway to the, to the woods, as we called them. We would sit on the big rocks sometimes, and before you know it, <clears throat> we would have chipmunks again, and they would be after these filberts, which some people call, now you buy them as hazelnuts. So at any rate, that's one of the things we did. Oh, we played, what What did you call it? I think we called it Annie I Over. One of my sisters, I would be on one side, and one, and one of my sisters, usually me and my older sister, she would be on the opposite side of the garage, and when you're gonna throw it over, you call Annie I Over, and you throw the ball, and she can't see it until it clears the roof, she's gotta catch it on the other side. And she throws it back to you, any eye over. <laughs> anyway, this this is a little composite <laughs> near the house of the walnut tree and the garage, which had a wood shed. All the rest of my life, I was the wood chopper because I, in the beginning, started chopping wood to help my dad. So you know, it was all about helping in those days. You knew you were part of. Um, an operation, and a farm is an operation. <laughs> uh, m meanwhile, the older you get, the more you're responsible for, because the stronger you are, the more you can do, and you're needed, and you know you're needed, and you're appreciated because you know how tired your mom and dad are most of the time. That's part of the fun things that happen around this garage, including the anti-over way of playing catch. Hey, I have a question. So, when the cat would catch a chipmunk, what did the other chipmunks do? There was usually only two. No more than three. Did they run away or did they scream and holler and raise a ruckus? I, I think something was raising a ruckus. But I don't know if the ones that were, one was being bit was just squealing, it's a little hard out. Or what? But you guys could hear it in the house and you'd come and oh, save Oh, no, it. no, we'd be outside. Oh, you'd be fine. We were outside. When we came home from school, we could have a snack. We could have peanut butter jelly sandwich. We could have toast, cinnamon toast. That would be toast out of the toaster, sprinkled, spread with butter for moisture, and then sprinkled with a cinnamon and sugar mixture. Right handy by the, by the toaster. But at any rate, at any you rate. You made that stuff for me even when I was a kid. Yes, of you'd course I did. You'd spread some butter on bread and then you'd sprinkle cinnamon, cinnamon sugar on it. Right, right. But we were outside. We didn't have to do our homework right away. We had to do chores right away. And then when the chores were done, we got to f play outside unless it was winter and it was snow and freezing. And even then we had some outside things to do. But then we could play until dinner. When they put the electric fence in, do you remember where the electric fence was? Yes. Did you know I got caught under that electric fence when I was a kid? We used to prove, prove how brave we were by grabbing a hold of it. My older sister was always more brave. She was always braver than I was. But I got so I could do it just as well. Why so, would you want to prove you could hold on to an electric fence? Alternating current, you know. On, on, well, on, on. So there was a, there was a little cut through that I guess the dogs and the animals and the critters went through to get under the fence, right? Yeah. I suppose. So I wanted to go out into the field with the cows. Okay. So I decided that I was going to crawl through the place where the dogs went through. Oh, and you got right? hung up on it. Well, no. Well, yeah, I did get hung up, but not hung up on it literally. But I went underneath it on my belly, right? Uh -oh. And I was kind of crawling on my hands and knees and it touched my back. 
Oh, 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 oh. Right? No, but so, even if you're crawling on your belly, you have to embrace right, some parts right, of right. you to move So forward. every time I'd raise myself up, I'd touch it, it shocked me again, and it slammed me back to the ground. And I got stuck there for probably five or ten minutes. I had never seen an electric fence before. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know why I was stuck underneath it. You know? Gosh, I don't know. I was probably only five. Well, Pop. Uh, well we have friends coming over. I'm eating egg salad. Avast. With some crackers. Avast! Hey folks, like, subscribe, tell your friends. It really does help. And it helps the channel grow. It helps us get higher in the search engines. And if you do feel like you can, please donate and help us out on the journey and help us uh, restore this boat. That We have a Patreon link. We also have a PayPal link um, on our website.